done. Yesterday it was at 11 o'clock and then the, the house was burned. We don't have nothing. We don't know where we must stay. Um, we don't have even clothes. Well, and we just watched it going and I honestly believe my house had gone. I mean, we just saw flames and everything. And only this morning at 7 o'clock somebody told me that my house was actually still standing. Which is, I don't know, like a miracle because everybody else's houses are gone. I have just come from a site where 40 shacks also last night was destroyed but luckily no fatalities and all those people are currently in a hall in the white location at the township in the northern areas. Yeah, with us here in Christmas and currently I'm not uh, counting those that are still at work. We've got here 300 and something plus minus 300 people inside the hall that are getting supper now. But what I'm very grateful of people uh, companies are sponsoring they are bringing some food they are bringing some clothing blankets we trust that tonight people will be under the roof and uh, having blankets over their heads the neighbors have moved they've gone off to um, Glentana for the weekend to decide what they're going to do because they're going to have to rebuild their whole house um, they and sad enough it's their first home and they've only just moved in at the beginning of the month and now they have no home. Some are still coming in. Some are still coming in because they were enclosed in some of the areas that was closed by fire. They couldn't come through to their places so we expect more to come. You know, we, we classified this kind of fire as the perfect storm. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Winds of up to 110 kilometers per hour, you know, and um, with the impacts of climate change, you know, felt that is really very, very old. It's the perfect storm.